Okay, this is <laughs> this is Mr. Yastel Yamada. He Thank you very much. He is here on a tour uh, from Japan to tell us about Fukushima, the current state of Fukushima. Mr. Yamada formed an organization of 700 scientists and engineers who have volunteered to clean up Fukushima to save the lives and health of younger men and women. Uh, this is an incredibly courageous thing for these retired engineers and scientists uh, to volunteer for. So I want you to um, uh, listen uh, to what Mr. Yamada has to say. It's extremely important to us all, to every uh, life form on Earth. Um, welcome. Thank Mr. you very Yamada. much, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, now, today is the our last day in the United States. And I'd like to, before going to my speech, I'd like to thank your people. And here in Los Angeles, I've stayed the Grace and Ken's house, and also now staying uh, Jimmy and, and uh, Diane's house. And such support uh, helps us very much, and we have uh, not easy to express my impression, but very much impressed and enjoyed very much. Thank you very much. And today, as Grace uh, has introduced me, the, I have formed the Skilled Veteran Corps for Fukushima. And uh, before going to talk ourselves, I would like to introduce you the what is the facts in Fukushima. Of course, everyone knows that uh, there is a big uh, disaster, serious disaster in Fukushima. But the present situation is not very well uh, informed or reported. And recently, the Unit 4 was the, the topics, the, which contains this 1,535 spent fuel rods in the top floor of the building. And if that building would be damaged by earthquake or some, the, that spent fuel will make the serious or global crisis. It is quite clear. However, you can see some workers there it means that the, this building is not so much contaminated. It is the, the workers are able to work at the, at the, within the, the building. And therefore, this building has been already reinforced. And however, this is unit three. This building is much more contaminated than Unit 4, and no reinforcement work has been done yet. And also, m much more problem is there is no plan to reinforce the, this building. In the 40 years cl uh, cleanup project. And especially Unit 2 is highest, most uh, contaminated, and the level is 73 Schieberg per hour. That, such a figure, you may not be familiar with that, but 7 Schieberg is the, the value which, you, if you have, uh, you accept uh, such radiation, then you will die without ex exclusion. And this is the sea wall. The height is 50 feet, which is much a little bit higher than the last tsunami, which had has the uh, 40 feet. Therefore, as far as height is concerned, it seems to be sufficient. But still, this is pile of stone, not more, and the the project for the cleanup need 40 years or more. And there is no plan again to 
install the permanent seawall. And such a pile of stone cannot endure for a long year. And also, it is, this is just a makeshift. It is quite clear for me, for you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. But also, here in uh, their roadmap, for, for 40 years, there is no plan to install the permanent seawall. Furthermore, this picture shows the horses which conduct the cooling water in for, into unit, units one, two, and three. The fuel in the units should be cooled, cooled until debris, fuel debris would be taken out from the vessel. It will take, say, at least 20 years. And the, such a horse is not allowed the, legally to use in a permanent plant. The reason why is the, such a plastic horse is not reliable, very weak to the weathering, and there is several problem at the connection with the valves and so on. So, therefore, such horses are only allowed at the very uh, short time accident like firefight site, nothing more. In the plant, permanent plant, it is not allowed. But again, there is no plan to reinstall or replace from the steel pipe. The hose, this hose runs in those route in the length of two and a half miles. And no one can believe that, that such a horse will endure for 20, 30 years. With those facts, the, we can see that the present work done at the site is just a temporary and makeshift work, but not for long-term project. I introduce that this project is taken by Tokyo Electric Power Corporation, TEPCO. We, I, I'm uh, calling them, abbreviating TEPCO. TEPCO is a just private company and producing the electric power, delivering power, nothing more. They are not a company to handle or, or to, to work with such a big project like Fukushima Daiichi taking 40, 50 years without profit. Now, uh, this picture indicates what is the damage in the vessel. The right side picture shows what happened in Three Mile Island. Uh, three mile, in case of the Three Mile Island, the, also the fuel has melted down, but remained in the reactor. Reactor is reactor pressure vessel, we say RPV, reactor pressure vessel, which is corresponding to the, this part at Fukushima Daiichi. But in case of Fukushima Daiichi, fuel melted and break the bottom of the RPV and threw, threw down at the bottom of primary containment vessel and damaging, eroding the bottom concrete. The vessel, vessel, bottom of vessel might be damaged. And the height from top to bottom is 
120 feet. Uh, you can imagine it's a, say, five-store level. This picture in shows the idea uh, to remove the spent fuel from the pool. The spent fuel is submerged in the water because the water is the very good uh, sealed material for the radiation. Therefore, the spent fuel should be treated in the water. But new fuel doesn't need uh, such uh, handling. The new fuel can be handled in the air because they, have, they don't contain the radioactive materials. But spent fuel contains the huge amount of radioactive materials. Therefore, they should be treated, handled in the water. That is the reason why the, this, if building would be damaged, there would be a serious problem. And the, this is a so-called cask. And spent fuel is inserted in the cask and sealed and hung up by the big crane. The cask would have the weight of the 1,200 pounds, like that. And big crane is necessary. But as you have seen, the building was damaged by explosion taking place just after the, the earthquake. And therefore, the new structure shall be installed and new crane shall be installed. It takes years. And therefore, the fuel, spent fuel removal is expected to be started in 1914, or two years from now, not immediately. The main people want to remove, take out the spent fuel now immediately, but it's physically impossible. And there is a big problem, the difficulty there, because that spent, in the spent fuel, there are a the lot of the debris of the buildings which has fallen down when the explosion uh, took place. Therefore, the manipulator would be required to be handled or operated by manpower. Looking inside of the pool, it means that uh, here the radiation ex exposure is not avoidable. 